good day guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing amazing great this evening i will show you how to make a grocery banner design on your handheld smartphone using pc lab exactly like this this is a perfect example of instagram post you can actually make on your handheld smartphone using pc lab this is this was done strictly on pc lab if you want to continue learning these skills in graphics using your smartphone Keep on watching my channel for daily tips and amazing tutorial like this. Thanks. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Without wasting much of our time, let's start with today's tutorial. Take up graphic skills with creativity. Good day guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys is doing amazing great. As I said, I will show you how to make an Instagram grocery Instagram post design on your Android smartphone using PC Lab. Without wasting much time, let's start. Let's determine our size, our uh, banner size 1280, 1280. 1280 then 853 1280 by 853 as you can see then you click ok so the next thing is to use our uh, the background color so the background color that we are going to use is this as you can see then when you look at it this is the gradient that I use here so I just combine these two colors together you see the green at the top and this is it. You select the green and you pick this particular color. When you combine it together, then you will achieve this particular background, as you can see. <clears throat> so after gotten this, the next thing we can move on with other things. So the next thing to do is to come here, then start importing all the design one after the other. I mean all the objects that we want to combine together so and as you can see after you bring this then you click ok then the next thing to do is to lock it you lock it and then after that we'll go back to the gallery and we we'll try at least to impart this one after the other so when you import all this uh, template you lock it then you go back you import another one sorry we import the same thing you import another one exactly like this and then after importing it use your relative size to spread it then lock it after that you go back import the rest import the rest and then use your relative size after that you go back and then let's import this and then we hide it for a while so after that the next thing to do is to go on with our right up with the right up but before that we have to bring a particular object here so we we'll go to our image then let's go to document now locate so i'm indirectly looking for a particular thing here so immediately we've seen it we'll be able to import and drop it immediately but let me bring this one first then we have this so after that you remove the size and position it here remove the size and position it here good so after position it here we'll click ok now we can go and lock it too we we'll still go back we are going back to look for other materials to be important important here so we'll look for other materials that we can place there. 
So we look for other materials like this. So I've seen one. Then we pick it. So after picking it, we can cut out some parts so that it will not be too big. So let it be like three. So as you can see the way I'm cutting it. So we won't allow, we won't let it be too big. So we can do it like this. So click OK. Good. We have to see go back. And bring it up. Then click OK. So after that, the next thing to do is to come to our mask. We need to cut out some parts. And then after cutting, we, we need to arrange like this and cut out, cut it out. You can move it, then cut out. After cutting it out, we go to the color and give it a white color. As you can see, then we can reduce the size a little bit. So having got that, then we can rotate and bring out, bring it the air. You bring it down like this. So after that, the next thing to do is to copy. Then you bring it here. Then do rotate it back. And then we go to the mask. Sorry, we we'll go to the mask again. And then we increase the size, increase it, the cutting exactly like this. Then click OK. And then we bring it to be at this position to be to be here. So after that, the next thing to do now, we are almost done. We still need to go back to where we select all these elements. We'll go there. Then we look at one perfect element where that we we'll position at the middle here. So I'm still looking at the that element. I'm still looking at it. I want the perfect one. I'm looking for the perfect one to place there. Because I'm seeing the same thing, and I don't. And I think let me use this. I can use my own initiative to cut out this. So you see the way it is. You can now reduce the size. I want it to be the run to be in form of circle. So I can position it here, and I can let me let me cancel. Then I will go back again. Then click on this circle. So re reduce the size and position like this to crop it. Then click OK. So when you do that, everything will look like what like round circle. Then and that is exactly what I'm looking for. So we can be able to achieve that. So after that, you go to the color and give it. Your own desired color i want to give it color white so after i'm giving it after i give it this particular color i want it to look like blending i will now reduce the opacity so that the thing will just be fading somehow and as you can see i'm able to do that so after that you go to the layer and lock everything one after the other the way i did it here so after that we go to the, our write up where we type e shop we have e Everything shop. Everything in capital letter. E shop. Then the next thing to do is to determine the kind of what the kind of font that we are going to use. So the kind of font I'm going to use here is called Roboto. Roboto. And I will show you how that Roboto. This is a Roboto boot. Then you click on it. Then after clicking on it, you can actually reduce the size and position it here. So you see then you position it here reduce the size move it down a little bit like this so after we are able to do that then the next thing to do is to continue with the right up and then determine our size then you go to the shop and copy then you edit like this just edit and write grocery grocery then delivery grocery delivery so you can see grocery delivery then after that you bring it down you see then you go to the line spacing the line between the two shouldn't be too much 
so you can see then the next thing to do is to position it here position it here good after that we we'll go to the color i mean to the test then we paste test sorry we go to uh we we'll go to the quotes sorry we we'll go to the quotes and we'll quote a test so we'll look at any course that let look at this in views let's pick this then after picking these quotes infuse your life with actions i'm actually pick this just for tutorial sake and where we can place that then the font i'm going to use for this is called abel font abel font abel font you can see it abel regular then you click ok so this time around you reduce the size to the minimal level you reduce the size to the minimal level then you can move it a little bit like this then you go to align and align to the left as you can see then you can actually go there to increase the size a little bit and do it like this do it like this so you can increase the size a little bit good so after you are able to do that then the next thing that you are going to do is to be sure that everything work properly everything work properly so as you can see the way i'm doing it yeah good then we br we bring this one here then let it come down a little bit then let's look at it they must align they, they, they must align good so after we're able to do that we go to uh we go to i don't want to i have already prepared this we'll go to uh, gallery and import this this line then we'll position it here do you get it so after that the next thing that we are going to do right now is to lock we lock it then we'll go back to the bottom where we have this and look at how it is good good so after that the next thing that we're going to do is to lock this one back then we'll bring this forward we won't lock it we'll bring it forward and position it underneath under here we position it like this so after that then we can proceed by locking it we'll lock it then after that we copy let's let's bring this down sorry we lock the e shop then we come here and delete this then the e shop we copy we copy it then we edit we will type w the, our website which is www apia apia.com that is the website then we we'll position it here by reducing the size and make sure that everything fits in we we'll make sure that uh, everything fits in good the next thing that we are going to do is to continue with the write up so for more info for more info for more info then taking by words the phone that we are going to use is called taking by words taking by words so you see taking by words make my words sorry make my words make my words words like statements then we click okay then we reduce the size 
after reducing the size we'll bring it down to a little bit a little bit like this and position it then we go to where we hide uh, this particular template now we unhide it then we'll come here and adjust to show where it's supposed to break then we lock everything we'll come and lock it so after, after that then we can go on with our right up here by copy we'll copy the e-shop then we come here and give it desire number so let's say plus plus seven eight nine five five six seven six eight then there should be a little space in between exactly like this then you click ok now position it here you position by reducing the size reduce the size exactly like this and position it here so having done that we are what we have almost true or almost true then you just need a little correction so after that you could be able to see clearly that you are able to uh, make a grocery instagram poster uh, banner instagram banner on our android smartphone using pixelab so the next thing that we are going to do is to click on this uh, image showing the delivery then we'll go to the shadow and apply a little shadow as you can see radius to be zero then draw this black down then click ok so this is exactly how to make a grocery instagram post uh, banner on your android smartphone using your pc lab thank for watching god bless you now you just go to save and save the work directly like this save in ultra jp format then save into gallery thanks